Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I create my no makeup makeup look which so many of you guys requested and I love this look for everyday makeup so let's jump right into it. I'm starting off with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium and applying it where my dark circles are just to help conceal them a little bit. And I love doing this because it just gives you a more awake and brightened look on your face. So I like to blend, the, blend this out using my Real Techniques uh, Contour Brush which I love using so much to blend out my concealer. It works perfectly and fits so nicely underneath the eyes and really does a lot of the work for you. For my foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the shade N153 and I'm applying it all over my face using Sigma's F80 Flat Kabuki Brush. I love this foundation so much you guys and I really recommend this because the best part about this foundation is it's not very heavy and it is a very buildable coverage so if you want a more sheer, more natural look just go for one layer of foundation and if you want to build it a little bit more you can always add additional layers. I usually just like to stick to one when I'm doing my no makeup makeup look and it looks beautiful. To set everything in place, I'm using Max Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Dark. And this is a very sheer powder, which is perfect if you don't want that cakey look, especially because we already added the liquid foundation. This is just going to keep everything in place and help last, make it last a little bit longer. For my lips, I'm using Rimmel London's lipstick in the shade 103, which is a perfect Barbie pink. And if you're my skin tone and you're looking for a good everyday pink, I would run to your local drugstore and pick this up. I know you guys will love it because I love it so much and it's so flattering on my skin tone. So just to shape my face a little bit, I'm using Max Blunt Blush and I'm applying it on the sides of my face and bringing it up to my temples. Now I'm not using this as harshly as I normally contour. This is just to give my face a little bit of shape, nothing too crazy. So to give my face a little bit of color, I'm using Max Melba Blush which is the perfect peachy pink rosy blush I think I own and I really use this all the time in the spring summer and it just gives your face the nicest glow without being overwhelming at all and I just love it so much. I'm going to use the two neutral shades I'm pointing here from this Storm Palette by Sleek and I'm going to start off by using the shade with the shimmer or actually sheen and applying it directly underneath my brows and this just really helps to give your face a more awake lifted look and I just love doing this step on a daily basis. Next I'm going to quickly just add the light matte brown shade in the crease of my eye and just swipe it back and forth just to contour my eye and this just gives a very finished look to the entire makeup. And to finish off the eye, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just really spending a lot of time just coating this on my lashes because even with a very natural look, I do like my lashes to pop. I actually forgot to do my brows, so I'm just going to use Ulta's eyeshadow in the shade Stand By Me, which I got on clearance for I think a dollar. And I'm going to apply that all over my eyebrows using an angle brush in short strokes just to define them a little bit and I want to keep this very natural so that is why I'm using a medium brown shade and nothing too harsh nothing too crazy because we are going for the more natural look so basically you just have to follow the natural shape of your brow and just make them look a little bit more fuller and basically enhance what you already have And that is basically the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!